Hey there, Deepika this side in today's QA series let's see how to use page object model POM in test automation. In test automation managing complex application can become overwhelming without a structured approach. That's where the page object model or POM comes in. It's a design pattern that makes your test script more readable, reusable and maintainable. POM is a framework design pattern where you can create separate classes for a web page or component in your application. These classes serve as a central repository for locating element in the page, defining method to interact with them. POM offers several benefits, improve readability, keeps element locator and test logic separate, enhances reusability, page method can be reused across multiple test cases, simplifies maintenance when the UI change update locator in one place instead of all script. For example, testing an e-commerce site login functionality. Instead of repeating the same locator in every test, POM allow you to manage them in a single class. Let's see how to implement POM step by step. Step 1, define a page class. This class organize all locator and actions for the login page. Step 2, write the test script. The test script focuses on the flow of the action without worrying about element details making it clean and readable. To get most out of POM use page factory or dependency injection for initializing page classes. Divide pages into logical component for example header footer models for better modularity. Combine POM with data driven testing. For example an online travel booking app uses separate page class for the search form result page and check out ensuring efficient test case management challenges with pomr initial step can be time consuming over complication with too many small classes solutions are start with critical workflow then expand strike a balance between granularity and simplicity to summarize page object model is a must have for scalable maintainable test automation by structuring your test with pom you not only improve efficiency but also future proof your script against ui changes thank you for watching